Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Bark Park Baseball. Now, Out of the Bark, Out of the Park Baseball 19. Um, so, <clears throat> in the last episode, we made a pretty big draft pick. <clears throat> say, to ho say hello to Mr. Number One overall. Don Mattingly. Um, I do question the AI's intelligence and pushing him to AAA already. He's only 17. But we'll see what happens. Now, I'm awfully tempted to call up Chili Davis. Davis is already a far superior hitter to anyone we have at catcher, and he's a pretty good catcher. But I also don't want to start his clock too early. So we'll put a pin in him for right now. But let's go ahead and make our decisions and get our roster set up so we can get through the seat, get through the uh, the sim <clears throat> right away. Doc Medic, you're out. You'll be back in a week, so there's really not much of much point to uh, to putting you on the DO. Uh, he'll be back in two weeks. He'll be back in a day. I will go ahead and put Willie Wilson on the 15-day DO. And Mike Champion's just outdated it. So let's make some moves. So we have 32 players, 15 of whom are pitchers. So three of these pitchers got to go. Um, Damn, Dave LaPointe's out of options already? <clears throat> ah, yes, I knew that. He's been on the 40-man for... He hasn't been on the 40-man for three straight years, has he? Up, oh, yes, he has. Yes, he has. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wave him. Um, you see him with four starters, but I do plan on converting... Rick Camp? Um... Don Stratton, maybe. Uh, Thormus Guard can be sent down. I gotta get rid of what? One more pitcher? Yeah. I mean, it's gotta be Michael Freemuth, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, wave him. <clears throat> so he gets the unenviable assignment to be our fifth starter. I want someone who's got... A good enough stuff that if he loses some, it won't, like, cripple him. I think we're going to go ahead and make Rick Camp the other starter. Because all his other peripheral ratings are so good that even if he can't strike people out as much, I think he's still a pretty safe bet as a starter. Or there's always, um, McEnany. Or McKeany or whatever. I don't think he's got it, though. His only real asset is control, um, whereas um, Rich Camp is good at both. So I think we'll go ahead and transfer him over to being a starter. I'm sure I'll probably get a little bit worse as a result, but I think it's worth it. So let's clear the pitching staff and make some decisions. Oh, if you clear pitching staff, it wipes out everyone. I think, maybe. Hmm. Um, so... Let's take a look at our pitching ratings. Our best starter is Gray Corbin, except he's not really a starter. He's a reliever. Why do you think a guy with 28 stamina should be a bloody starter? I'll give him a shot. I mean, I'm not exactly overwhelmed with starting candidates. Then Bombac, then Flothy, then Swan, and then Camp. Uh, Closer, he did such a good job last year. I'm happy to make um, McKeany the Closer again. <clears throat> um, I would like Craig Scock to get some more appearances, so I'm going to make a middle reliever first, then a specialist.
Um, and then I guess we just set up some setup men. Um, Dave Stewart is going to get one of those jobs, and Rick Roden will get the other one. Uh, everyone, you'll be middle relief. Are either Stratton or Honeycutt have really good stamina? Honeycutt should be pretty good. Stratton's even better, though. So Stratton will be a long reliever. Emergency starter. And we'll do the same for Rick Honeycutt. There we go. <clears throat> we have a much better bullpen than we've had in the past. and So I'm excited to see what happens with this bullpen. I still need to get rid of five position players, though. Um, I do like the idea of keeping both Gary... Okay, Tatis, Miners. Uh, let's ship Bob Sheldon, because Champion is a much better shortstop than he is, right? Uh, Bob Sheldon's going to swap over to being a third baseman to help fill that role. Uh, Daniel Fisher is, is useless. I'm going to go ahead and wave him. Now we got a whole crap ton of outfielders i got to sort through. Right. Joe Ward, gone. And one more outfield. Dave Collins is starting. I don't think anyone would question that. Maybe Al Alman? <clears throat> Carry three center fielders? I think that's fair. Let's set our lineups. Oh, I still have one too many players. What the hell's going on? Oh, damn it. Why are you listing Rick Honeycutt here? Is he like a decent hitter? He's got a good batting eye, but he is not actually a hitter. Right. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and show the ratings, and we'll just pretend Rick Honeycutt isn't on here. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Lineups overview. Clear them all. Right. Our best contact hitters are Richards, Reigns, and Collins. But, Richards is the best contact hitter. And he's almost as good at the secondary things. Ooh. No, we're going to make Richards the, the leadoff guy. We're going to make Tim Raines the number three hitter. Yeah. Just because Richards is just that tiny bit faster, which makes him an even better leadoff guy. And then we're going to have uh, Dan Collins, or Dave Collins, bat second. That's our top three. We have absolutely no power on this team. Um, I guess Montañez, you kind of get to be our cleanup guy by default. Which wasn't what I was planning on. You know what? I might actually platoon you. Because I think Bergnode has... Yeah, he's got a pretty extreme split. We'll do this. We'll have you swap out there. And then who's going to be the fifth hit? Fifth place hitter. We got a lot of garbage after the top guys, don't we? Alright, so I still need a DH... Which might actually be Richards, but I'm not going to push it. Um, Philikins would be a good sixth place hitter. You know what I think we're going to do? I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I think we have to. Our team is so starved for power. I only have one power source. 
I think it's time. I wasn't going to start his clock so early, but looking at the rest of his team, I'm thinking to myself, damn. Welcome to the big leagues, Chili Davis. You are already the best power hitter on the team. Um, in fact, you're actually like the perfect cleanup hitter for this team. I mean, this is not how I wanted to, to run this season, but it just makes too little, it makes too much sense not to just give Chili Davis his shot in the majors. And he'll be playing catch. We have a lot of switch hitters, which was not my intention. But I'm totally happy that it happened. Um, okay. Uh, Sheldon is going to be playing third base, so we can go ahead and bat seventh. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll actually DH Gene Richards, just because I have literally no one else to DH. I'm actually going to have um, Mark Wilson, or Mookie. Yeah, Mookie Wilson can play right field. We're going to have a damn good outfield. And then we need our shortstop, Champion, who will be batting last. All right, let's go ahead and say generate the depth charts, and then we'll take a look at how the game sets them up. It really thinks we've made a good job because it's basically telling everyone, yeah, you're fine. Okay, looks like it's going to try to squeeze Montanez into right field. As long as you make, like, every fifth game, I guess I'm okay with that. <laughs> Didn't plan on this being your rookie season already, Chili Davis, but we have a really shitty team. So, yeah. That's a true aspect of this team. A personal message. We don't know if my champion's gonna be coming back. You just strained your ribcage, bro. I don't think ribcage muscle is a thing. I think they'd just be abdominal muscle. Because a ribcage is just bone, right? I don't know. Maybe someone in the medical field that happens to be in, um, in the comment section can, can correct that for us. Hmm. Chili Davis was number five pick. Really? I can't even crack the top 10 with Don freaking Mattingly. I gotta see where Mattingly is. Oh, okay, he's 16. That's, we got number 5, number 16. Uh, Mike Morgan, still a good pitching prospect. Minor league system rankings. We're top 3. Oh, Alex Budner, too. Okay. Mike Morgan is starting to improve just a little bit. He might be cracking the staff here in a day or two. Now oh, there's Andres Galarraga. But Galarraga is just so raw. And Mattingly is so good all around that I, th I think we made the right choice. Uh, this is a lie, by the way. Julio Franco started as a shortstop and only moved to first base later in his career. All right, let's get through our first month. Ah, a non-roster invitee, Chili Davis, welcome to the 40-man roster. I hope you never leave. In point of fact, Chili Davis is not actually made out of chili. So if you thought that was a thing, I'm afraid to tell you that it is not a thing. Uh, I'll just send you all to AAA, let the AI sort it out. Did you already demote Don Mattingly? No, he's still there. Okay. He's a 42 overall already? I'm going to leave him in the minors a bit. Just because I wanted to polish that power. But he might be kicking down the door. I, I think this might be the way that OOTP... No, oh, Willie Wilson is back. Um...
Oh, I've got to have you on the roster, don't I? I'm going to send down Mookie then. I have to have him on the roster. Doesn't mean I have to play him. Um, I'd much rather have Mark Williams play right. Oh, Mark Williams can't play right. Can Philikins play right? No, he's really good in left or center, but he's shit and uh, and right. Well. I guess that means Wilson is going to be playing right field. And he's a good hitter, but I'm not sure he's going to play very good right field. But we'll see what happens. So April 20 or 1979 is finished. Um, our minor league teams are really good at getting shut out. Again, one month into the season isn't really enough to make any significant player decisions. Man, we are just jumping all around this this standings. No, no. Ooh, bomb back got a shutout. Good work, Mark. It's Ron Garden hire. <clears throat> Richards is at twenty straight. Uh, Craig Swan. Nice. Up. Oh, Richards was hitless. <clears throat> After 26 games. That's a shame. Um, people getting better. Maybe Don Mattingly. Uh, is. Yeah, he is. Damn. I mean, this is about as good a first. Two months of a professional career you could expect from him. He is just, he's destroying baseballs. Um, yeah, he he's real good. Is this Don Mattingly character? Um, what's going so well this year? Our offense is really good. We're stealing all the bases. Our Rotation has been insane, which I definitely didn't expect. Full pen a bit disappointing, really good defense. Okay. Let's... I will have to go in for a closer look. Um, Chili Davis, probably not ready to be a cleanup hitter in the majors. He is providing plus value, which is good. And he's hitting for power, but he's not hitting consistently, and he's not drawing enough walks. Um, good performance from Bob Sheldon, playing third. Gene Richards has been out of his mind. Tim Raines has played exceptionally well, except for the fact he hasn't hit a single home run, and probably won't. Um... Our lineup lacks power, which is why I can't afford to kick Chili Davis out of the lineup. Or Philikins, for that matter. Um, alright. Bullpen-wise, maybe demote Dave Stewart? 
I mean, I hate to tell you, brother, but I bet you're probably giving up a whole... Oh, yep, yeah, look at all the walks. Yeah, I'm going to switch you to being straight up middle relief, and I'm going to promote... Um, oh, we'll make Bonham another middle or setup guy. He'll be the sixth inning setup guy, and then you'll get promoted to seventh inning. There we go. That's a spicy meatball. All right, let's continue. A trade proposal. All right, Ray Corbin wants to come back. Bob Sheldon wants to come back. We can think about it. You would trade Bill Buckner, who's a steaming pile of monkey crap, for players who are admittedly not very good. Oh, Brad Golden might get better. But no, I'm not taking on that much salary. Just go away. That's a bad deal no matter how you spin it. A trade proposal. Oh, I bet Montanez wants to come back too. I don't need a new catcher. Trading Rick Roden isn't the worst idea of, of all time. I just need more or something that's a better fit. Um, let's go and take a quick look and look at some of our salaries. I would like to bring back Dave Collins. How much would it cost to keep bring you back? He, oh, good lord, no. We can't afford that. Um... I would like to bring Sheldon back, because we're kind of weak at third base. You know what? He wants an a raise. If you'll take like 150k next year, I will give you this extension. Okay. I think that's reasonable. We're not locking ourselves into it. We've got a pretty good third baseman. I think that's a fair deal. Uh, bomb back. Oh, hell no. Yeah, a lot of these guys are looking at their, their salivating about their salaries right now. All right, we'll worry about the rest of them later on. All right, let's continue. Four weeks for champion. He's getting to be a real pain in the butt. Since I literally don't have a shortstop to call up. Yeah, I don't have any shortstop who's anywhere Major League ready. I could bring Daniel Fisher back after I thought I got rid of the bastard. I can make Dom Manningly for how to play shortstop. How long are you jerks out? Oh, you're about ready to come back. Who's on the waiver wire these days? Eh, just relievers. I mean, I guess this is... Mark Harris is a terrible shortstop. He's just a terrible player. I mean, Dan Fisher at least kind of plays shortstop, all right. Mark Harris was awful last year. Yeah, I need to get rid of Mark Harris. I'm just done with him. All right, this means we have two holes on the roster instead of one. But I think this is a this is at least a decent start. I'm going to flip Philip Canucci and see if I can turn you into a reasonable shortstop. 
I can get a lousy second baseman. We also kind of play shortstop, so I guess this is better than nothing. Um, there is no way on earth you're going to give me a prospect. Is there? Can I get a Royal Hirschheiser? Oh, right here. Right here, right here, right here. Mike Witt? Nah, you'll pretty much, you pretty much want to stab me in the face for suggesting that. Which, to be fair, I probably deserve. Kurt Siebert, maybe? I just want to stock up on good fielding middle middle infielders. Let's see if you take that deal. I expect you'll probably get back to me quickly. Oh shit! Here I'll just like uh, fuck you. I'm not gonna throw in another player. I don't need. I'll just get receiver. I'm going to submit it and see if he'll take that. No. I'm not giving you more, bro. So yeah, we'll just have to find another way to take care of this problem. Hey, Wilkinson's not... Oh god, Wilkinson's bad. He's real, real bad. And I've got a bunch of middle infielders that are like mega young. Island plays third and short. You know what? We're going to call him up too. And who's actually the better shortstop? You're a 56. What about Island? He's a 70. Island. And then go ahead and generate me some, uh, some death charts. We got Bob Sheldon to come back. I think he's worth what we're paying him. Um, good third basemen aren't easy to find. Here comes the suckitude. Yeah, go to hell, Mark Harris. You're trash. Right, we need to start losing faster if we're going to get ourselves another top five pick. Another shutout for Swan. Alright, so let's quickly look at who's doing the best on the team and then decide if we can maybe make a swap or two. Not trading Richards or Reigns. Might trade Montagnes. Obviously not trading Chili Davis or Collins, maybe Sheldon. Okay, so let's start right away. If I flipped Montanez, what could I come away with? Well, one of them is a shortstop, which I do need. <clears throat> he's about a year away, but he's he's an interesting choice. Can I get Baltimore to sneak in another player? What about like a Bobby Castillo? If you take this deal, I will swap it right now. 
because that helps us address two positions for the future. Ooh, Bill Bonham blew out his arm. That's not great. Who do I got pitching wise? Who could be called up? LaPointe, maybe. I guess it'd be all right. Just make him a middle reliever. Nope. Baltimore wants quite a bit more. What if I keep some of his contract? Here, let's see if you take that. If I eat his entire contract, so he basically plays for you for free, would you take it? Uh, he thinks we're kind of lousy at left field, which, you know, eh. How are you getting along with the team right now, Benji McCoacherson? Tim Raines doesn't like you. You know what? You're gone at the end of the year. You know, let's shake things up. I'm going to make you my bench coach. Then I'll fire you, mate. I mean... Yeah. Fired. Uh, he actually does pretty well, actually. And then we can try to grab a new AAA manager. Would offer Mike Johnson a triple A contract, sure. And we'll give him an extension. We'll keep him around. He can be part of the rebuild. That ah, didn't change things very much. The thing is, you're asking for players I don't want to give up. It's not worth it. I will add in Swan if you give me a little more. What about Dale Holman? Uh, he's not really that great. Kevin Morrissey. Alright, you don't want me to get Kevin Morrissey. I guess that's fair. Because he's a pretty good choice, actually. You're already giving me two pretty good prospects. And Castillo. What happened if I drop Castillo and added Morrissey? How much more do you want? No, I think I'll take um, Castillo and then. You won't give me Gaetti. Daryl Turner, maybe? No. George Frazier, maybe. I'll throw him on there just so I have more I can say. Um, you want to give me Turner, too? Mm. 
And Steve Daniels. I don't give me Steve Daniels. Well, but. Let's take Paul Wasaki. He might turn out to be pretty good. So I do need a pitcher. Let's call a Budner. And then I also need a first baseman. Oh, I don't want to call Mattingly up right now, but it's so hard to justify keeping him in the minors when he's so clearly dominating in AAA. Do we just go for broke and let the kids play? Let's call him Mark Cawley instead. And then what we'll do for the short term is I'll just go ahead and let Bergnaud play it first every day. And then you can give me depth charts and then pitching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just throw Budner right into the rotation. I think he can handle it. Plus, we would add a, a, a much-needed left-hander to our rotation. Yeah, our bullpen's actually kind of sucks this year. I spent a lot of money on it, and it's not so far working out for us. McKenney is not striking anyone out. He's just stopped. Eh, that's what it is. I mean, we're going to be a bad team regardless. We could get Doc Medich back. Let's get you some rehab, Tom. Mike Champion back is actually a fair, is actually a decent sized boost to the team because we do need another shortstop. Oh, dang. People don't like Daniel Fisher. They think he's kind of an asshole. No. Damn it, Tim. All right, people really don't like Fisher that much. I'm not going to call him back up. We sir, do you play second? You play second kind of well. All right. Island is only third and short. I guess we'll just plug in Weezer at second for right now. Oh, the real loss is the, the number three hitter, because I don't really have another hitter that can handle that. Burgoed, maybe. I guess that's what we'll do for now. And I kind of push everyone else up. Until we get to, let's say... Willie Wilson, and then I'll slide in the other guy at short. Uh, so champion comes in at short. And then I guess Island is going to have to play second. No, not Island. Uh, the other guy, Weezer. It's going to make our defense a little bit worse, but there's not much I can do about that. Damn it, Tim. Daryl Turner, why are you... Oh! Okay. Yeah, I'll put you on the 40 man and then send you to triple left. For now. I 
Are you kidding me? Quit injuring my damn players all of a sudden. Man, and he was have been a good trade shit, too. Well, I guess that means we bring up uh, Doc Medic. Unless he's injured again. He might very well be injured again. I guess we could also bring up Castillo. Where the hell is Doc Medic? Am I going blind? Oh, here he is. I just didn't go down far enough. Let's give him a shot and see if he's got anything left. I wonder who our all-star is going to be. We'll have at least one. Because I've forced the game to do that. Because that's what they do in real life. We just think it's more fun. Um... Yep, I fired Chad Simmons. I'm not taking on your hugely overpriced left fielder. Who's that TOR this year? Gene Richards is our sole guy. I figure one of my pitchers might sneak in there. I guess not. And we have one all-star. It's more than we had last year. Ooh, Philly picked up Raleigh Fingers. It makes Philly even scarier, which I didn't think was possible. I really built them into a juggernaut. And yes, I will take all of... God freaking mm. <clears throat> what is it with us losing like half the damn team at the midway point of the season and the problem is we're losing like important parts of the team too and people that we could be trading for a significant upgrade and now that option is not available to me and it makes me very irritated A trade proposal. Okay, you know what? Stop at, Stop trying to give me Bill Buckner. I don't want him. I'm not taking on your shitty contract. Screw you, Minnesota. We'll do some up to the trading line. And the, oh, for fuck's sake, quit injuring my damn players. This is getting ridiculous. And now I'm playing players I don't actually want to play just because I have to. I need someone to actually literally just throw baseballs every couple of innings. Alright, who do we currently have that we could flip and make a profit off of? I think Flothy. I mean, he's already on pace to have a better season than he did last year. His value is never going to be higher than it is right now. I could get Jim Kantner. I don't think I, I want to, but I could. Larry Hubbard, no. I don't need a catcher, really. I could pick up Eddie Murray. The problem is I've already got Don Mattingly getting ready to come up. Um. Mike Smithson could start. He really could. And now we're going to try to get you to throw in another prospect or two. I know there's a snowball's chance in hell we'll get Jesse Barfield. I'll try, but I'm pretty sure you'll just tell me to go to hell. 
I think that's understandable. Kevin King. Ah, uh, you just drafted him. Bernanski would be good, too. If you would give me Tom Bernanski, I would be over the moon. And I don't think there's a snowball's chance in hell that you do it. But I'll try it. I would not. I would honestly give up a little bit more if they take it. <gasps> Do it right now, immediately, without stopping. That is such a good deal. We just got a significantly better outfielder who can have a little bit of time to percolate, and I think Smithson will fill in for uh, what's his face. That was just a really good deal. Here's Tom. Hi, Tom. He's probably a couple years away, but I mean, there's no rush, and he's, again, the kind of play. God damn it, really? Another f forking injury? I'm trying to do my best to control my language, but this is getting quite irritating. That every single player I want to play, it just keeps getting injured. And it's just absurd at this point. Another trade proposal. Uh, he'll be out for three days. I am not giving up Gene Richards for anything unless... I'm not saying I'm opposed to trading him. Especially over a player as good as Bill Madlock. I'm saying trading our only good player for a player who's equally as good is not good enough. George Bell. Yep, he won't even think about taking it. That's, no. Screw you. I'm not here to just eat your gigantic payroll. Armas has power and nothing else. I don't really want to give up Bronowski, though. No. Mm -mm. I'd trade the other guy. I just don't want to give up something that's that good. Oh, you are not getting Mike Morgan. Just don't even call me. Not when he actually looks like he might eventually be good. I'm going to put him on the untouchable list. Basically, anyone under 20 is someone I want to try to avoid trading unless there's no reason not to. A lot of people want Mill, want Will here. How long, much longer do I have him for? Oh, he's just not entering arbitration. Okay. Uh, straight up, I don't want your shitty catcher. Um, can I get Howard Johnson from you? No, because you were just drafted. The Yankees have, like, a no-farm system. Donnie Scott's a really good catcher, but I don't have a need for him. Uh, I will actually shop him around. Because all of a sudden he's real popular. I'm mostly getting offers in like the 40 overalls. Ballard Moore would actually convert quite nicely to a reliever, I think. Oh lord, nope. I am not eating that contract, mate. Tim Worthen's a little better all around, but I am concerned by his bad control. Bruce Poole, good stamina, good control. Might get even better. Movement's a little bit subpar. I could dig this. Could I get the Phillies to throw in someone besides Bruce Poole? Like an actual interesting prospect. 
Damn, the Phillies are... The Phillies have a loaded farm system. It's almost like their previous GM spent a lot of time doing that. Could he get Jesus Alfaro? Eh, his once bright future now appears to be somewhat tainted. Candy Maldonado is a pretty crappy... <gasps> Rob Deer. Give me Rob Deer. I'll take him. No. Damn it. Lombarski? Nah, he's... They're, they're not interested in giving up a player that caliber. Matt Winters? I mean, this is really trading a reliever for a starter, and it's a starter that's going to be here for a while. I'm just going to go and take this as is. I'm just going to go and send him straight to the Major League roster. And then you're going to be a middle reliever. I'm going to give Dave Stewart a chance to close. Because that's what his future with this team is, is that he closes. There we go. How long do I have Corbin? Your another one is going to be gone at the end of the year. And your another one is having a really good year, so I could probably flip you. I think you're the last player I can shop. A genuinely good second baseman would be nice if you weren't quite so expensive. Uh, John Fritos is a good all-around player, but his third base defense leaves something to be desired. Bob Pate. Good center fielder, decent hitter. Richard Bass, decent second baseman. I don't want a second baseman. What am I talking about? I have Tim Raines. Hortensio. Okay. I like the sound of him. He will be a free agent, though. I don't know if I want to mess with that. Atlanta really wants to get rid of Eddie Murphy. Or Eddie Murray, rather. He, like, set one of them on fire or something? I don't know. Jerry Stone is an interesting type player. I'm getting a lot of good offers. I could get McKee and Annie back again. I will take Cornute. Yes, do it. I will try to get you to throw something else in. Like a Paul Householder. No, you don't want to give a Paul Householder. Godfrey Evans. Not quite enough. John Randolph was at least a very good second baseman. I like that batting eye. I'm going to submit the offer and I'm going to see if they take it. Cleveland. Willie Crawford, who isn't bad, but is... Eh. Crawford has some merit. What about Skeeter here? Skeeter just sucks. And... yeah. You're mostly asking me for people I wouldn't necessarily mind coughing up. Nope. I'm just gonna take this deal. It gets me two it gets me one good prospect, one interesting prospect. 
and it gets me some with I have more team control with. Cornet. And right away, Cornet's going straight into the rotation. I mean, he would be an okay reliever, but he's a pretty damn solid starter. And I know his movement's not great, but... Tim Raines back is the best news. Let's get rid of Island right now. And then we'll get Tim Raines back in. This is going to be amazing. It's going to be everything I wanted from life and more. Um, obviously, Reigns goes right back into the lineup. I'm going to bat Reigns second for now. Um, yeah, let's see how that works out for us. All right, trading deadline day. Anyone else I want to try to dump? A lot of people want Rick Roden. How much would it cost for me to keep you? Up, oh, he doesn't even want to talk about it. I guess that's fair. I can't trade Bomb back. He got hurt at the wrong bloody time. Alright, if I can't keep Roden, it makes no sense not to trade him. Sure, okay, Francisco Barrios. I mean, damn, son. All right, sure, do it. I would like to get more out of this if I can. Ah, uh, but frickin' Mike Witt is hurt. And he's the only other player you have that's interesting. Yeah, I can't give him to you. Um, oh, Larry Hubbard. Hubbard is actually a pretty damn fine pitcher. Would you give me Storm Davis? I highly doubt it. I can try. Damn it. I wish you would say that before I try to put him on the block. Stanley Davis, maybe. You'd want more. I need to just keep grabbing pitchers in the hopes that one of them will eventually be interesting. Yeah. I mean, the difference is I'm not going to be able to keep Rhodes, right? Do you have someone on the Major League roster? There's no way in hell you give me Ryan Sandberg, but I will try. Yeah, you would pretty much punch me in the face. Keo, I don't think you'll give him to me either. I'm not parting with Tim Raines. Daryl Jackson would be a nifty little pitcher. You want a lot more, huh? Budner can already handle it, so screw you, mate. What about Luis Salazar? Could I get you Salazar? No, you wouldn't. Eh. What else could I get for Roden? Ideally, I want to try to find a team that give me one or two good players. Atlanta really doesn't like Eddie Murray. I don't need catcher. I don't need first base. Nope. I will let him go. Offer him arbitration and take an extra draft pick.
player development. Dave Stewart's getting a lot better. Good. Chili Davis just got better at everything. Mark Colley got better at everything. Bergnaud got a little worse. Weiser got a little better. I don't see Tim Raines on there. Oh, he is on there. He did get better. That's not fair. Um, Mike Morgan is really turning himself into a possible rotation type dude. He's a terrible hitter. I don't know why you'd play him at first base. Just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't care what you want, mate. Why do you want to be a member of the rotation? I thought all you ever wanted to do was be a member of the bullpen. You want to be in the rotation? I'll put you in the rotation. I don't care. Sure. Done. Uh, you can play over Doc Medich. Get Dave Collins back, which is good news. How's Mookie hitting this year? He's kind of crushing it. I'm actually going to send Dave Collins to the minors. Because I'm not going to keep you anyway, right? No, actually, I actually want to keep him on the roster. Because I want to make sure that he gets... Uh, I get my uh, deal for him. I'll send down Williams instead. Because I need to get my draft pick for him. That was the whole reason I got Collins. Poor Mookie Wilson. Every time he's like, yeah, I'm hitting the ball. They, they can't get rid of me this time. It's like, sorry, Mookie. It's like, damn it. What the shit, bro? And then I say, sorry, Collins. I like you and all. But I like the draft pick that comes with offering you arbitration more. Oh, for fuck's sake, would you quit injuring Tim Raines? This is getting silly. Like, seriously. I'm sick of him missing, like, two months of the year. Now I call up Island again, and I guess Weezer gets to play fucking... Hmm. Sure, Collins can hit second. Someone has to. Get her done, mate. Now look, I specifically hired this team trainer to protect the team from getting hurt all the bloody time, and yet you all keep getting hurt, which is just really frustrating. Um, try not doing that, maybe. I don't care that he's eligible to come back. I forgot he was injured. Rehab assignment. You can go down there until the rosters expand or what have you. I can get Bomb back back. He can go for a rehab assignment too. I'll get Tim Raines back. Now listen here, Tim. 
You're gonna start freaking playing your damn position like you're supposed to play it. That means quit getting hurt. I will DH your ass if it means actually get your bat in the lineup. Yeah, Dave Collins is gonna hate me, and I genuinely don't care. I should at least get, knock on wood, a top five pick. Which means I won't get the best player in the draft, but I should still get a pretty damn good one. Is that Paul Splitorf? It is. Yeah, there's not really much here to excite me. We are nearing the end of the episode. I don't know, his time ran out. I, I love how they're trying to talk about playoff eligibility. It's like, mate. Just now. I'm going to go ahead and put him on the 60-day DL if he's injured again already. Yeah, bomb back and pitch in place of Smithson. And then you can just do some long relief. I guess. Yeah, that's why you're already on the DL, mate. The list of disabled. This has been a weird season. I mean, we were one of the hottest teams in the majors in the beginning here. And then it all just kind of went to shit. And a lot of that is probably the fact that I started selling off most of our better pitchers. Which is, you know, what we're here for. Not Carl Match. <clears throat> Some votes for Steven Viscus. Oh, he actually won. Nice work, bro. Alright, so he won 71 games. Will either be number 5 or number 6. Ooh, Richards won a batting title? I'll be damned. Scott Budner won Rookie of the Month. Gene Richards hit three freaking 50. Good work, brother. Good work. And we'll sim till the end of the playoffs. I don't know which of us would actually get the fifth spot. Because uh, we have, there are two teams with the same record. Uh, Yankees versus Cubs. Yankees win. Now here's the million dollar question. Are they going to break my contract and fire me early since I haven't really delivered? I didn't upgrade a left field. I did give you the minor league system you wanted. And I have kept increasing attendance. I, most of that's Tim Raines, granted, but. I mean, we'll have Don Mattingly on the team next year. So. I lost my scouting director. That's not a great start. J. 
John Henry Johnson of the Knoxville Blue Jays. Uh, oh, Doc Medic. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and void it. Someone else can have him if they want to. Um, so next episode, we're, this is, I think, the first offseason. We really need to start making a move. We're not going to make the playoffs next year or the year after. But we need to start generally trending in that direction. We need to get to the point where we're around 500. Um, how happy were you with me, Bill Buck? You wanted a better record. We did a little bit better. We're really happy with the farm system. You want to make the playoffs by 1981. That's not probably going to happen. All right, guys. Um, so that'll be it for this episode. Um, again, this was... I know the season doesn't look good. We weren't 71-91, and 91, but that's still a more than 10-game improvement over the last season. Plus, we found a few diamonds in the rough, and we got to see a full season of Chili Davis. Um, next year, we're going to have a scary young core of Tim Raines, Chili Davis... And I'll take a very quick look at him, but I'm pretty sure Dom Mattingly made AAA his bitch. Our scouting director got fired, so all of our stats, all of our people look right. Yeah, there is nothing left for Dom Mattingly to learn in AAA. He's ready for the majors. And I think we'll give him that chance once we get a new scouting director. But that will have to be for next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. Um, I'm curious to see what people think of how some of those trades went. I know most of them weren't world beaters. But our strategy so far seems to be working. Where we grab players, um, let them have good years with us, flip them to get younger players that we'll have control of for longer. Thank you for watching. This has been Avindian. And I bid you good day.